Um, thank you, Concordia Thonish. This morning I wish to begin by expressing my sympathy and the sympathy of the Fianna Fáil party to the Marin family in Castleblaney, County Monaghan, and to the broader community in Castleblaney and the death of Stephen Marin. Stephen was going about his daily job when he was tragically killed as he sat in a parked car on the main street in Castleblaney. A family man, only 47, in the prime of his life and a life that was being very well lived. His wife, his two children, his family and the broader community are this morning reading their lives ripped asunder. He was a sacristan in his local church and he was described as the go-to man for many in his community. And the tributes this morning on Morning Ireland from his local canon reflected that. The clips that we saw on RT and in all media last night of from CCTV in Castleblaney on Tuesday evening are like something from the movies, except they're very real for the family and from the community. After crashing into Stephen's parked car at high speed, a driver then drove on and crashed into a pole. He has since been detained. It seems that earlier the same person arrived at Castle Blaney Garda Station, was recognised by a guard who had previously had dealings with him, who then tried to stop this person leaving the station. The person left, drove on regardless, and this tragedy unfolded. I know you will also join with me in paying tribute to Garda Michael Devlin, who showed enormous courage and who I understand was previously injured on duty. He showed more courage and bravery again on Tuesday evening, and we think of him and his family today. I know you would agree that in isolation, this story is horrendously tragic. When you read the reports today about how this suspect was actually on the run for a number of years and was well known to the Gardaí and the PSNI, it will ask you and make people question, how was he allowed to walk our streets free, let alone drive on our roads? And how many other such cases are there within our system? Can you confidently say that our Gardaí are resourced and have the available knowledge to actually brief them on this kind of suspect, were they to meet him in this circumstance, or to meet a suspect, particularly along the border, where they come over and back in such circumstance? Do you have a plan as a government to review this incident and how it happened? Do you, how many other people are you aware of as a government that, to use the phrase, are on the run in situations similar to this? Finally, will the Government and the Commissioner discuss this with the PSNI? And are there plans to increase cooperation between the Gardaí and the PSNI and the court system to ensure that those who are convicted of an offence on either side of the border are not allowed to roam free for years and cause more tragedy? Thank you, Deputy Kilirri. We all accept that there is far greater cooperation. Um, and it's probably never been as good, but yet this situation happened. And a family and a community and a guard of the community are reeling today because of the situation. You know, we need to ensure that warrants on both sides uh, of the border can be executed on the other side of the border and that this situation doesn't happen again. And again, I ask you that, you know, that whatever investigation the Minister is undertaking be robust, be efficient and be done quickly so that we can give reassurance to communities. The family and the public need to know and need to know this will not happen again. Because there are similar cases, and we're all very familiar with this uh, in this house, the tragic death of Shane O'Farrell. The driver of the car that killed him had over 42 serious convictions and was well known on either side of the border. And the O'Farrell family have been stoic, brave and courageous in their search for justice for Shane, and I acknowledge in particular the role the Deputy McGuinness has played in this. They have made complaints to the Gardaí, to GSOC, to the DPP and to the Department of Justice and Quality. They have been requesting a commission of inquiry into his death and this House passed a motion to allow this to happen. Can you confirm that that commission will proceed along with the wishes of as expressed by this House? Yeah. 